Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Al Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty expressed sincere congratulations to King Salman on the successful surgery he had undergone, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with speedy recovery, abundant health, and happiness. His Majesty also wished King Salman every success in continuing to develop Saudi Arabia as well as supporting the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, congratulating him on the success of the surgery he underwent. His Royal Highness wished him abundant health and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, congratulating him on the success of the surgery he underwent. His Royal Highness wished King Salman bin Abd Aziz abundant health and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired a meeting of the Government Executive Committee held remotely. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to ensuring the health and safety of the community as evidenced by Team Bahrain's relentless efforts aimed at combating the spread of COVID-19 and noted the importance of building on current successful mitigation efforts. He stressed that the next phase of national efforts calls for a continued determination aimed at safeguarding the health of the community and urged all to adhere to the precautionary measures introduced to combat the virus. Following a report on the latest global developments and measures aimed at mitigating the spread of the virus presented by the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the following was decided. As of the 6th of August 2020, gyms and sports halls, outdoor sports fields and swimming pools will reopen. The health procedures to be followed in these facilities will be announced at a later stage along with any other related requirements. The president of the Asian Football Association and the vice president of FIFA, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chaired a virtual meeting of the Executive Council of the Asian Federation this morning with a number of the council's members and other officials in attendance. At the start of the meeting, Sheikh Salman affirmed the importance of commitment and committed and productive work to execute the decisions and programs of the Asian Football Association, which are intended to develop the sports and the continent. He said that that the conditions under the pandemic have proven the success of the association in coping with its effects through which the values of unity and solidarity among the members of the association have been deepened. He added that a number of programs and initiatives have been carried out which have assisted the national football associations in dealing with the pandemic and in pushing their efforts for development further forward. Also during the meeting, the council affirmed the importance of completing all pending competitions on domestic and international levels in 2020 and expressed appreciation for the cooperation of national football associations in this regard. The Council then approved sending invitations in preparation for the 30th meeting of the Committee on December the 9th of 2020. Sheikh Salman finally expressed thanks and appreciation for all parties involved in the football in Asia whose efforts, initiatives and cooperation have been vital under the present circumstances. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,613 with 439 recoveries, 321 registered new cases and two deaths. 162 cases were detected among expatriate workers, while 159 of the new cases are contact affected cases. The deceased were a 35-year-old male expatriate and a 57-year-old male citizen. The Ministry of Health expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. It also urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.